how's it going? <laughs> so uh, today's video is going to be on ways that I can kind of change my hair a little bit. Not a paid video, it is just some of the items that I've received, um, just to kind of give you my honest opinion about them. You guys know that there are just not a lot of companies out there that cater to women with gray, graying hair. So when it comes to things like clip-ins or wigs, um, you know, whether it's just ponytails or anything like that, if you kind of want to stay, um, you know, with the hair color that you have, that gray, um, it's, it's just, you know, your choices are just very few. And a lot of you have stated that, you know, gosh, I've been looking for um, a, a company that does hair pieces that's realistic or that's stylish and, and so forth. And, and I understand. Not that I've ever really been searching for a wig, but when, they, when the company came to me and wanted to give me a couple of their pieces to try out, um, I was really pretty excited because um, I knew a lot of people had been asking if, um, you know, well, do you do any type of braids or clip-ins or wigs or anything like that? And so a lot of you know that Miss Great um, use their stuff, okay? I don't have any other products that I use. They came to me when they were kind of first starting out with the line and, um, you know, wanted me to try some of their pieces. I'm gonna show you guys the the straight wig that I have. And it was a straight bob. And I personally, myself, um, I did do a little customizing with a little bit of cutting, and I also curled it. So it came straight, just a straight bob. I do believe that I have a picture. If not, I'll stick it here or here, so you guys can just see it as a straight bob. And then once I curled it, um, gave it some sort of kind of beachy waves, that's what I ended up with. Um, the clip-ins, I just honestly have to tell you, I just, it was really difficult for me. Um, just the placement, uh, making sure everything was right, that was really tough. That was a tough undertaking. And then I do have a couple of ponytails and those are the ones that, you know, I don't know that, but we'll get to that. And then lastly, they just recently sent me um, a headband wig. And so we're gonna get into all of those. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try all of them on, um, let you guys see what they look like, and then we'll go from there. Makeup's done. So let's figure out what we're going to do here. So I think we will start with um, the new piece that I just received. So I have some pictures of when I took it out of the package, what it looks like. It's just a basic straight headband wig. Um, I didn't really care for the texture. It just looked like... Um, I don't know, damaged hair. So I did the, the pre-wash or the precondition, let it sit. I did put a moisturizer on it just so it would feel a little bit better. I put the twist in, so let's go ahead and start taking these twists out. Okay, so I will say that what I did in the, you know, the front closest to the band is I tried to attempt to do a flat twist on it so it would have some texture going around the band. So I'm leaving out my two twists here in the front. This particular one has uh, three combs and there's also a comb in the back and the head wrap thing is, has a Velcro, Velcro closure. So, 
let's get with it. Okay, so I just put a little bit of gel on the front of my hair and we're just gonna kind of brush it. There it is. And uh, maybe if I curl it and have curls instead of this just straight. I don't know if you guys are really picking up that texture, but it's a very weird texture. Um, yeah. Okay. So that is this wig. I don't know what you guys think of this. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I could turn so you all can see. There is that. Okay. There's that. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so this is the the straight bob wig that I was telling you guys about. I keep it in here in the little bag that they provide or either on my mannequin. But um, so there it is. It still has some of the curl in it. Um, but I'll just throw it on, let you guys see what I do with it. And um, we'll go from there. Okay, so sometimes I'll, well, most of the time when I wear this, I will use some hairspray. Um, this was the most hold I could find, like at a Walmart or Kroger, and I just needed something quick. And so I'll take and I'll just spray in between to give me some volume. Maybe take the and just go like that to give it more of a realistic look. I know. Okay. And like I said, this particular wig, um, when I got it, I'll stick the. Um, the photo here of what it looked like when I received it. So it, it's just a basic straight bob, you know, right at about shoulder length. And um, it has a, a sort of a side part and then it has a little bit of lace here and here. Um, but I just cut the lace out because I knew I was going to want some of my edges exposed and um, so that's pretty much what I do with this one. That's this one. Yay. Okay, so next are the clip-ins. So <laughs> I really haven't worn the first set um, since I did the very first video with these where I tried them on. So these are clip-ins. I need to just go ahead and wash them. But this is the texture. And honestly, you know, I really liked the curl pattern. I thought it was a good one. But when I 
you know, had it on next to my hair. My hair's a little bit more kinkier than this. I can mimic this pattern with a twist out. But if I'm just doing it, you know, like with my hair dry and I'm just trying to add in, this texture is a little bit too, uh, what's the word, um, too fine. Yes, it is curly, but the just the texture of the hair, it's too fine, it's not coarse enough. So um, they sent me another, uh, <laughs> pack it and this time they sent me this texture okay guys so these clip-ins I have to say these were nice the texture was really good even after a washing um, they did very very well so as far as just the quality of the hair, it seems to be a lot better. Um, the curls held very well. Uh, the clip-ins or the clips um, hold very strongly. Uh, so if you do have a sensitive scalp, you might wanna be um, aware of that because once you put them in, they are not coming out and they are, that, that comb clip is pretty tight. But I think that's good, especially if you're wanting something that won't slip. And, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I'm not much for them because it does take a lot of work and I just really haven't had the time to try the coilier pair of clip-ins, but hopefully sometime soon I'll get a chance to do so. Okay, so I am, I decided to go ahead and curl this hair so I'm taking my flat iron and I mean I'm really brushing it out because it is really really coarse and but once I flat iron it it really does have a much better texture to it it feels better it doesn't feel so dry and just you know, so I'll turn so you guys see it has it has a better feel to it. It's much softer. So yeah, we just gotta see what happens. And we'll see what we got. Okay, so this is the final look for the headband wig. I did leave a little bit of my hair exposed, just the edges, um, just to give it kind of a realistic look. Let me know what you guys think. Um, it is, it, it doesn't really, it, it still has that kind of really coarse, feel to the hair, doesn't glide um, like the other wig does. But I think this one was made, um, you know, in particular to be more of a textured type of headband wig. And, um, but for me, it just had that feeling of, um, I don't know, I guess maybe like braid hair. I, I guess that's the best comparison that I can give, but it's extremely, extremely coarse. And um, I just didn't like the texture and I just didn't really like the look on me. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Okay, <laughs> so we got all of that stuff off. All right, so next we're gonna try and do something with this ponytail. This is the ponytail that I was sent. It's like a, a drawstring, I guess this part goes in here. 
there is a clip here and a clip up top. So I'll try it this way. And now I'm trying it, you know, the long, the, you know, the pulls on fully. secure I guess that's the way you're supposed to do it so I guess it goes horizontally maybe if I got a headband let's get a headband headband <laughs> Okay, so there it is from this side and from this side, low back. So, yeah, yes, that's all you do. So, let's talk about these things and how I feel about them. So I will say that the the bobbed wig, the uh, the very first wig that I that I received, um, I really I really do enjoy the wig. Like I think I told you guys in the very first video, I really feel like the only thing that's wrong with that one is that it is super shiny. Besides that, I really do like it. I wear it out, um, you know, when I need uh, my hair to look decent. <laughs> if I haven't, you know, done anything to my hair and I need a quick fix, I, I do wear the bobbed wig out. The clip-ins, like I said, I have not yet tried that again because it, it it was just so taxing on um the headband wig um that one it just took a lot of work for me and uh, you know the texture is weird um once i did curl it and um you know really got the hair to a point where i could do something with it it still felt kind of stiff. Um, it's just a really odd texture. So, you know, I don't know. I, I may try um, to wear it out just to see how it does and um, maybe get some feedback from, you know, family and friends and see what they think. Um, then we come to the ponytail. Okay, so the ponytail for me was really disappointing. And the reason why I say that is because this thing sheds like no other. I received it, you know, I did all of the pre-maintenance that you're supposed to do to this ponytail. And it sheds like the dickens. So, I mean, I guess you can kind of see at the ends you know, where it looks like, and I mean, I could just do that, and I don't know if you can see that, but it's it just sheds like crazy. And that is, that's lightly shedding, okay? And I didn't know what was going on. It just kept shedding and shedding, and I was watching, I was like, what in the world's going on? I mean, I was like, if I continue to do anything with it, there's not gonna be any hair left on this thing. So I did ask them about this and they said the process in which they go through to get the hair to, um, uh, I, I guess, to kind of prevent shine and mechanically or, you know, just being able to get the hair to the gray color. Um, it's a, a, a process that, I guess, dries the hair out. Um, so it's like excessive shedding. 
They sent me another one. And as soon as I opened the packet and it did like that, it was shedding. So I was like, there's no need for me to even, you know, take it out the packet because it's going to do the same thing. So that is the one thing that I would definitely say if you like this piece and you think it's cute, just be aware that it is going to shed like crazy. Um, so I, I don't know, you know, with as much as it does shed, I don't know how long the piece will last. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. I will give them credit. They, they really have done a good job, I think, with um, color matching, um, kind of coming to a happy medium when it comes to us and our, you know, gray patterns. You know, our patterns are just all over the place. We don't just have that salt and pepper or, you know, all white. We have so many different patterns and, um, you know, different shades. And I think it's great that someone has taken the time to try to accommodate um, women that are wanting to go natural and wear their natural hair. You know, like I said, it's a new company. It, it's something that they're trying because I think they see that the trend of women that are going gray, um, you know, and, and in particular women of color, I think they really have tried to step up the game, try to bring us pieces that are stylish, um, you know, and just something that's kind of versatile. So, um, do I think, I think that they will try to correct some of the things that, um, you know, that may be issues. Um, I'm sure that they're getting feedback from, you know, other people, from, you know, other influencers that are uh, trying to help them with their product to get it out there. And um, I'm sure a lot of you guys that may have possibly uh, purchased something from Miss Great. I'm sure you've probably given feedback or, you know, you could be totally happy with your purchase. So, um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to come on, let you see um, everything that I've received, kind of let you, you know, just give you an idea of what I feel the product, you know, if I like it, if I don't like it, if I'm on the fence about it, or if I'm concerned about it. So, you know, all in all, I think if you are wanting to spend the money on these products, and, you know, I would say, I think that they're probably going for anywhere between, you know, 170s, 180 to as much as $300 for the pieces. So, you know, take those things into consideration. Um, I've tried to give as honest feedback as I possibly can. And uh, so that's that. But I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, yeah, so we'll see you in the next one. Bye.